There is a real need in most developing countries for planes and aerial assets. In many of these countries, rail and road infrastructure is poor or non-existent. During natural disasters and emergencies, many lives would be saved if planes and helicopters were available. John Page and John Olson from the School of Mechanical Engineering are working on a way to bring helicopters to the skies of developing countries. The limitation, of course, on aviation activity within developing countries comes in three forms. One form is the cost of the vehicles themselves, which are often based on military aircraft and thus are beyond the budgets of many small countries. The second problem is skilled people to operate the aircraft. Helicopters in particular require highly skilled pilots. And the third case is that of fuel. Most of these countries can't afford fuel because of the cost in real dollars and also fuel availability becomes a real problem at times of crisis. Although biofuels have been available as a source of energy for some time now, they haven't been used in the area of aviation. Well, biodiesel is a good source of fuel because uh, crude oil is running out and so ordinary diesel fuel is going to run out as well and so we need to find alternative sources of fuel and bi we've looked at two alternative sources. We've looked at uh, bioethanol as a possibility um, but we've, uh, we're more interested in biodiesel as a possibility. Well in the third world uh, they could use any sort of, uh, they, they could use, use vegetable oil if they wanted to or they could use uh, uh, any crops like uh, corn or canola or, or, or stuff like that. Practically anything that you, you can turn into oil, you should be able to ultimately turn that into biodiesel. The problem with biodiesel as an aviation gas is that it has a relatively high uh, freezing point temperature. And so at altitude, it's liable to start to gum up, uh, which means that well, it solidifies and it's not liable to flow through the uh, fuel lines. And so you could end up with your aircraft stalling. Another problem of using biodiesel in helicopters is that traditionally diesel engines are very heavy, which is not what you want when you're trying to get off the ground. In an effort to get around these sorts of problems, because there are no biodiesel helicopters in the world, the team has also built a helicopter that will travel with the new fuel. We decided to embark on a project to see what sort of aircraft could utilise that. And obviously the main need is something like a helicopter because many of the areas you need to get into have no road structures. And indeed, road structures are so energy intensive to construct, it's unlikely they'll ever be able to afford to construct roads. And therefore, we worked on the helicopter. About six weeks into the design, we start the first simulation model. And then about halfway through the design, we build a wind tunnel model to prove the simulation model is viable. This is very important because there's always a risk with a computer model that in fact it's talking rubbish because if you put rubbish into a computer you get rubbish out and so we need to confirm in real hard fact the data we're getting. What's exciting about this project and has inspired the students working on it is that we're using appropriate technology to solve a real third world problem. This is seen by the fact that we're actually developing a fuel in site for people in those areas where other fuel would not be available and we're providing a vehicle that can really improve the quality of life of the individuals within those countries.